we're going to talk about the number one sign that you're not compatible with a person. And I believe that this is the most overlooked sign. And what happens is, is when we don't pay attention to this, when we try to reverse engineer this, when we try to make it work square peg round hole situation, we cause ourselves tremendous heartbreak, frustration, and grief. And so I'm going to equip you to avoid this at all costs, but you do have a role to play in this. So welcome. If you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe. And if you're a recurring viewer or you, this is your first time, please like this video. It will help me tremendously liking this video, watching it into, until its entirety and also commenting all these things are the things that make like YouTube videos do well. So please, I would love your support. If you're benefiting from my advice, be sure to do that. Or you can also come to me for coaching, get my products, or if you don't need any of that, then you can send me some love on my Venmo. But please support my work. I love what I do, but your support, you helping uh, by watching these videos actually does a world of a difference of getting my work out there for other people to be a part of this. So I'm going to tell you why we don't even look for this <laughs> and why it can cost us years and lots of heartache. So we're not looking for this because when we meet someone and they start ticking all the boxes or checking all the boxes, however you like to refer to it as, when they start doing that, we negate this very important thing that needs to be paid attention to. And without it, there is no compatibility. And what happens is, is we start selling ourselves on the person for all the things that we want them to be, hope for them to be, or all of the things that they already are, but you on a gut level know that they're lacking some things that you really need. And so you're just looking for the potential that they will become this. And so it keeps us, we just start kind of like weaving ourselves into this thread of relationship, this, we, this, this path of relationship with someone that we have no damn business being with. This is the number one sign that you're not compatible. And that is they do not know or have the capacity to love you the way you need to be loved. And I know that that sounds very, I don't know what you want to call it, woo woo, abstract, whatever it is. But the point is, it requires you to understand what is it that you actually need to be loved. And listen, that is only a question that you spending alone time with yourself, writing it out, getting clear about yourself that you can answer. Now, listen, sometimes we make these assumptions of how we think we need to be loved based out of trauma, based out of hurt, based out of pain. I'm not talking about that because that you'll have a, a list of a thousand things of what you need from people. No, no, no. That, that is nothing that no one can give you but yourself. It's time for you to start facing your wounds, start facing your pain and quit running from it. That's a different video, a different topic. But when you've done that and you're like, no, 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 I've, I've done that, Eric. I've done my work. Um, I actually, there, you're right. There are some certain things that I need to know that I am loved. Listen, without this, we get into relationships that we have no business being in. And the reality is when we first start dating someone, we already know, we just all choose to ignore the signs because we're afraid of being alone. But let me tell you, you should be more afraid of going through that heartbreak and the year, two years, three years it takes it for some people, it's a lifetime to get over that person when really you had no damn business being in a relationship with them. Now, listen, if that's you and you're like, I don't even know what that's like, or yeah, I need to face myself and start, start 
admitting like what's going on with me instead of blaming the world, sign up for some coaching, go to my website or get one of my online programs. But listen, understanding how you enjoy and need to be loved is, is everything. And you're going to know immediately whether or not that person has the capacity to do that. You can't judge them and blame them if they don't. They're just not your person. Quit trying to squeeze blood from a turnip. It's never going to happen. Let them go. I know you're going to be afraid to do that, but you are betraying yourself by allowing them to stay in your life. I'm going to say that again. You are betraying yourself by allowing them to stay in your life. There is someone out there for you, but staying with the wrong person will never make room for the love that you need. I love you. You have what it takes. Don't betray yourself. If they can't give you the love that they need, that you need, then they're not your person. I'll see you in another one of my videos. You take care.